Hello my friends and welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got speed down here in the bottom right hand corner and motive over in the top left. I really wanted to take a look at this game as soon as I saw it came out. It's just in the last few hours that this game was released on the 25th of August 2024. So this is hot off the ladder. And this game should be really, really interesting for anyone who's watching the SSL, uh, aka the ASL. Both of these players made it into the group stages this season, and Motive, for his first time ever, is going to be on that big stage. Really looking forward to seeing him there. We've watched so many of his games in the past. And one big thing to note about both these guys' runs in the qualifier, if you guys haven't seen my video on the qualifier and uh, my breakdown, my predictions, go ahead and click the link up here. Motive made it through primarily on PVT, but Speed made it through primarily on TVZ. And we really haven't seen much of him when it comes to... TVP. I predicted that Speed is going to actually make it through those groups. Kind of a a bit of a crazy prediction. I don't know if it's going to come true. He's been playing very well so far. But one thing I noted as kind of a caveat was that it's based on his ability to perform in TVP. Because we really haven't seen him. Like He, he didn't really have any strong opponents in TVP when he was going through the qualifiers and just in general his TVZ is a lot better so you know you, that can only get you so far being strong in one matchup it can get you a ways but it can only get you so far uh, in a tournament like the SSL and will it get him past the group stages I'd love to know I cannot wait for that group to be out that's going to be a really fun group speeds group now motive is not in that group but there are some Protoss players in that group, if I remember correctly. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in here, see what speed's level is like when it comes to TVP. And we've got a Nexus first here out of Motive. Motive is going to push him to the absolute limit. He is at his peak performance right now. This is as high and as strong as he has ever been. This is the best Motive we've ever seen. Managing to sneak into the ASL this season. He is definitely going to put speed on the on the ropes here for sure. He's going to give him a very tough time. And let's see what his build order is going to be. He has not started range yet. But he does have a Dragoon on the way. Will he start range? Will he start a robotics? It's looking like that robotics right now on speed side of things. He's actually gone directly into a starport. Starport's actually way over here. So it's going to be for a vulture drop, interestingly enough. He's not made a bunker. He's been just reliant on these couple of marines to keep the scouting at bay. First, Dragoon is out on the map. The first zealot was not sent out. Just kept back at home here. And basically, Moto's gotten away with the most economically cheesy build that you can imagine. He's gone one gateway after Nexus first, no range. So this is brutally, brutally cheesy when it comes to uh, the economic side of things. So, you know, he's going to eventually get the second gateway out. He has range on the way. He may just go directly into uh, observers. He might try to get out a reaver here. But speed, you know, when he isn't able to punish motive early on, he's not going to, like, bunker rush him. That's That time is long past. He's instead going to opt to try and get vultures into the main and deal as much damage as possible. Go ahead and drop these mines. This is really good mine placement here because this is going to prevent motive from getting over to this side and scouting the dropship coming in 
We've got our first observer on the way. We don't have dragoons popping anymore. We've got one dragoon. It's going to head to the front. This is a wide open main base right now. And I have a very good feeling that we're going to see speed get a lot of damage with this. Is it going to be enough to bring him into a lead or even bring him to an even position? That remains to be seen. First observer is out. Dragoon in the main. Only one though. Two more are about to pop. Are they going to come at just the perfect time? Well, the ion thrusters are going to finish up here just at the precise moment that he needs them to. Wow, just slipping by here on the left-hand side. Speed going to get into this main. Drops all four vultures. Where's the response from motive? There it is. He starts to move. Great little pylon block there. He drops another building on the stop side. And now is there any space to get in here? Well, he does kind of block his own unit there. Oh, he gets some mine connection as well. One vulture running by into the natural. Gonna look for some damage over there. Oh, that mine connection on the zealot does not kill any of the vultures. He gets a few more kills here. This is some great damage from speed. Overall, bringing himself into a lead where now seven workers ahead of the protoss player that was fantastic really well done i thought that motive was going to be able to hold this with flying colors when he dropped the pylon here and the gateway over here to block it looked like he was going to be able to handle that no problem but a little bit sloppy with the movement on his dragoons and he didn't keep anything in hold position in that wall which is pretty unfortunate it means that he lost a few extra probes there that he really didn't need to and that's just a little bit of what like motives little kryptonite there right it's his ability to hold on against these vulture raids i've seen it plenty of times before and motive he's still struggling with that so i feel like someone the caliber of sharp might actually just rip motive a new one like this was great play by speed but you know there's other monsters out there like Sharp who can do even better. Who can just harass you like absolute mad. And getting this observer into the main, he sees the number of factories that are being added on. It's going to go up to five factory. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to see like a big five factory timing or anything like that from speed. He might go into a third base here just needs to have enough bulk of units to try and hold on to that third now we have arbiter tech on the way motive going to utilize something that you know i haven't really seen a lot of motive arbiter he's so much more well versed in robotics play like double robotics speed shuttle is his bread and butter and i'm a little bit surprised to see him doing this from a deficit Generally, if you want to try and utilize a tech that you're not as familiar with, especially a more robust tech like the Arbiter, takes a little bit longer to get online. You usually want to do it from a good position, not from a, a difficult spot where you've already taken damage and things are kind of falling apart. Your economy is not as good as your opponent. Uh, something like the speed shuttle style is so much more feisty like you can get in there and deal a lot more damage you can you can take fights that you otherwise might have lost this drop coming in is insane dealing so much damage right as the push is coming this is beautiful play from speed i'm so impressed with him right now speed is playing this out brilliantly look at him he hits that drop right as he's coming in Gets into a perfect position here. He's got the SCV for the turret. He's got the scan as well. The turret is gonna, uh, you know, add that extra bit of, well, maybe unless this SCV dies. It's gonna add that extra bit of, oh, he goes in and kills the turret. That was interesting. He targeted the turret there, but another turret will start immediately. Motive is just getting handled right now. This is so impressive. Speed is doing an amazing job in this game. The drop play was fantastic. And especially that follow-up drop was super, super good. He's going to leave one tank to finish this next off, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, Speed made a little mistake here. 
Can he actually target this down? It's got 100 HP. Can he actually get this? I don't think he will. Running into the natural now, though, with some vultures. Gonna get in behind this mineral line. Try to throw down some mines. Gonna get a good mine connection here. Ooh! That was a great one. Quite a few probes just went down to that. Maybe four or five probes just fell. He's not gonna get the scan, and the Arbiter will come in clutch to save a bunch of those workers. But he heads back home and starts a third base. Speed. Where is this coming from, man? When did he get this good? I feel like he must have been practicing with some really strong Protoss opponents uh, in custom games to bring himself to this level because I don't think I've ever seen Speed play at this level. Like, had he just left two tanks here instead of one, he would have killed this Nexus. And I think he would be... It would be completely GG. Like, there's no way to come back. Uh, from motive if he lost that nexus right now or at w with that attack but uh, as it stands i mean the retreat was a very good idea he was running low on scans he didn't have enough turrets up eventually motive would overwhelm that with a bunch of zealots so retreating and getting back to a third base is absolutely the most practical idea here the the most practical decision making from speed and he's just doing fantastically well with these little vulture raids, getting some mine connections on everything, you know, softening up some of these zealots. You can see a lot of this is softened up as well. And a run by into the natural once again. A few more probes are going to go down. He gets, hits the scan as he's coming in. This is professional level StarCraft, guys. Speed is it just... He's grown so much. I'm kind of shocked, honestly. This is very, very good play from him. And Motive is struggling right now. He's got Recall on the way. He should have had a fourth base quite some time ago. We're at 12 minutes in now. He hasn't even looked to try and take that fourth. It seems like he's going to send out a probe here in a moment. And there it goes. But, I mean, we're so far behind the curve. It is insane. We've got double upgrades coming. EMP on the way. More factories coming up. He's even bringing some tanks into his main base just to set up in case something comes into his main can see he's bringing those tanks up another factory coming down here a third machine shop on the way everything's pumping away so brilliantly here speed looking like light honestly if you covered up the names here and didn't tell me who this Terran player was I probably would have well can cover, kind of cover up the name here pretty easily but uh, if you didn't tell me that this was actually speed I might have thought that it was light or something like that he's just gonna come in and snipe this nexus beautiful play here from speed losing all of these vultures is absolutely worth it to cut off that income especially with this nexus at the fourth not even done yet we're gonna have to do long distance mining here for motive for a little bit of time and that's just so much leeway right now for speed He's got a bunch of tanks here in the main. He's setting up those mines. He finally completed EMP. I don't see any... Where are his uh, science vessels? I don't see any science vessels, which I'm a little bit surprised about. First science vessels in production now. Um, maybe he was a little bit strapped for cash uh, in terms of that vest being gas. That is a possibility, but... He will get that out here in a moment, and he should have EMP ready soon, but I, I don't think it's going to be soon enough for the first Arbiter. Where is that Arbiter? Okay, yeah, he's definitely got the energy, and he's got the EMP, so... Or the, uh, the upgrade as well. So EMP won't be able to come in in time, I suppose. Speed is starting to push out. This might be a good opportunity to recall on the third. The natural, usually not the best place to recall on top of let's see what he decides to do with this he's got two arbiters here maybe a recall on top of the tanks that's a possibility if the tanks get really stacked up together and you can recall a whole bunch of zealots on top of them it's pretty strong i didn't see a what this dropship's still back here that's kind of funny never cleared that up it doesn't have anything in it of course but a little bit funny that he decided to just leave that in there. Psionic Storm finally on the way here. That final tech for the Protoss army. Really essential as these upgrades start to kick in. We got plus one, plus two. 
plus three is going to be finishing up in not too long and the speed spreading out to take his fourth this is when the recalls can start to come in recall becomes strong once the terran player starts to really spread himself out and as he takes his fourth base he's gonna spread pretty thin he doesn't have any real hurry to take that third of course or that fourth of course because he got the third online in a pretty quick fashion so he's going to start to build that command center on location now. His tanks are very stacked. Could be a good opportunity to fly in and recall, recall on this. He gets his Arbiter energy started here. That upgrade's on the way. Here's that Arbiter. Will he go for the natural? Will he go for the main? Three turrets here. This one should be able to get a couple shots off too. So you actually can't fly through this with just a single Arbiter. Um, you can definitely recall on top of this, but recalling in the natural is generally not the best. Here we go. It's going to try and fly by. Oh my gosh. Is it going to die? Yeah, it does die. That's, that's what I expected. I definitely expected that to die. This recall, not the greatest. You can see how quickly the tanks and uh, army from speed can return to this area. He pulls the SCVs and everything just gets annihilated. Meanwhile, some vultures make their way over here start to harass this fifth base we don't have a follow-up recall onto the fourth either and so this is basically a speed victory at this point he is so far ahead you can see about 40 supply in advantage and the difficulty of making recall actually worthwhile on full display in this game recalling here it's certainly not the play but the follow-up you know what he utilized that recall to break through. I don't know if I agree with him using so many units to make that happen. He did recall a huge amount of units. He's not even got uh, nearly as much now with this follow-up recall because he did throw away so many units in that first recall. But it cleared out the turrets and now he can get here into this back line. Meanwhile, speed just going to push directly across the map. If he's caught with his pants down, if we, you know, don't see enough scans come out. Oh, we've got some stasis as well. Stasis very helpful here. Stasis on that. Uh, oh, God. Can he get one more? He's got four seconds left. Oh, he dodges. He dodges. That's very, very good. That dodge was absolutely sick. Now he can get one more stasis on another group of tanks and possibly clear this push. This is drawn back speed quite far. Some storms coming out on these Goliaths, pushing them back. The tanks are pretty low number in the number that's not actually stasis here. I mean, I'm trying to find a way for Motive to come back into this game, and I think he needs to utilize that one last stasis and break this push before speed pulls everything together because he's bringing, you know, another 8, 10 tanks up to the front line. And once they're all stacked up and together, it's going to be very hard to stop very very hard to stop this push and so motive i just i don't see that he has any more recalls to try and shut down any more of these bases a recall here would be fantastic if you could recall on that base uh he might actually be able to win this game but he doesn't have the recall available right now he's only got two arbiters and they're both over with this army and they do not have any energy remaining 95 on this one and we're slowly starting to close the noose here Throwing down uh, stasis is awesome, but not if you're not going to engage immediately after. And it seems like he just, he's just not going to come in here. He's not going to be able to fight this army. So kind of a waste of the overall spell energy. It did slow down speed a little bit, but that's not what you need. You need a win. You need to destroy this army and speed's army is so big. It is crazy, right? It's so massive. I mean, Motive could think about going around this. He throws down one more. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Templar coming out here. One more stasis is not going to cut it, man. This is some pretty decent storms, but everything gets lit up. I mean, this is so many tanks. We've got like five, six dragoons fighting against 12 tanks. It's just not going to go well for Motive. And the speed has just about taken this one down. A super impressive showing here from speed. I can say pretty confidently uh, that he has improved a lot in this matchup. And 
you know, my prediction is looking smarter and smarter by the minute that I thought Speed would be able to make it through his group. Uh, despite his track record against Protoss, he is looking fantastic. He's going to kill off this Nexus of Motive and the matchup that really carried him through that Motive was able to, you know, get his way into the group stages based upon is not serving him well right now. Speed is dominating, clearing out all these bases. He may end up losing some of these tanks in the middle, but even then, I mean, the economy has been completely sacked here for Modi. If he just doesn't have the overwhelming numbers that it will take to, you know, secure more bases and clear these armies and GG finally is called here. Motive taps out at the perfect time right as I was ending my sentence there. Speed. Oh my goodness. Gotta give it up to this man. He is gonna go far. I mean, if he continues to improve like this and keep on, you know, increasing his skill. Remember, I want to remind you guys, this was the greediest opener imaginable from Motive. It gave him a massive economic boon in the early game. He didn't even start range until after he had the robo. He went one gateway after Nexus first. He was adding on Dragoons. He had enough to handle the drop, but skillfully done here by speed, you know, preventing the Dragoons from coming in and clearing out this corner. The dropship manages to slip through, gets all that damage going in the base and then the follow-up drop as well does huge damage while the push is coming in again if he had kept just two tanks here to finish off the nexus it would have been gg already but it was really really close to that position it was super looking super super good for speed but i'm glad we got to see more out of this game because his follow-up was fantastic he was not greedy he brought his tanks back he didn't overextend. He was very slow and methodical about moving forward and securing this fourth base and then moving out and just securing a really good position at this front line while all the chaos was going in with the multiple recalls coming in. He was still able to set everything up, be really, really efficient with his army, cut off the flow of units from motive from his main base and slowly pick off these outlying bases to give himself a secure win here this was not like a difficult position at all from speed he had a lot of leeway in this game uh, where things could have gone worse they could have gone more wrong and he still would have been able to take this game i am super super impressed guys thank you so much for watching get hyped for ssl and for speed his appearance i'm sure that he's gonna blow people's minds uh in his games i'm almost certain that he's going to be able to get through to the round of 16 but anything can happen in that crazy crazy tournament and on that live stage is a little bit different than playing like this on the ladder guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one